His check on stories we're following for you today on Robert Hood Radio. Pat McDonald's tri-state forecast, a partly sunny day today, high about 40. Cloudy tonight, mid-20s tomorrow. Rain or snow showers, otherwise a cloudy mix with some sun, mid-40s. Saturday, cloudy and milding up. Showers about 55 to 60. And Sunday should be partly sunny with a high near 50. We'll get the full details on our tri-state forecast from our meteorologist Pat Pagano in just a few minutes. A virus is taking advantage of unvaccinated residents in Connecticut as hospitalizations are rising. 50 additional COVID-19 patients were admitted to state hospitals on Wednesday, increasing the number of hospitalized to 575, and the state's positivity rate dropped slightly to just under 5%. Of those hospitalized, nearly 77% were unvaccinated. Currently, 73% of the state is fully vaccinated, and 85% of state residents have had at least one dose. Out of Great Barrington, the Bard College at Simon's Rock Chorus will present Everything She Touches Changes, a choral on change, loss, letting go, and moving forward. That will happen on Wednesday, December 15th via Zoom. You can visit Simon's Rock EDU events for Zoom links. Also out of Great Barrington, the 85th John S. Watson Christmas Fund has announced receipt of over $9,400 in donation towards this year's fundraising goal of $40,000. That fund aims to make the holiday season a bit more joyous by providing food and clothing certificates to families in needs. Donations are being accepted in person at the South County branches of Berkshire Bank or by mail to Berkshire Bank on Main Street in Great Barrington or the Watson Fund P.O. Box 284 in Great Barrington. Checks should be made payable to the Watson Fund. Those wishing to make donations in memory of or in lieu of holiday cards can include their request with the check. The Canaan Child Care Center has been chosen to receive one of the year-end critical need grants by directors of the Northwest Connecticut Community Foundation, dedicated to helping area residents and families with limited financial means. The Canaan Child Care Center will receive $2,500 to purchase coats, boots, snow pants, and mittens for children of families who attend the center. The year-end critical need grant is made possible by the Marion William and Alice Edwards Fund and the Draper Foundation Fund. Donors Marion William and Alice Edwards and Jim and Shirley Draper all expressed a strong desire to assist those facing difficult and challenging economic circumstances. The Sandy Hook vigil locally to remember those who died on December 14, 2012 and all victims of gun violence will be held this year on Tuesday, December 14th from 5 to 6 in front of the White Hart. Participants are asked to bring a candle, real or battery operated. Torrington Public Schools postponed its holiday concerts because of the city's COVID-19 positivity rate. Quoting here, Torrington's positivity rate was 7.2% last week, one of the highest rates in the state, according to the local health department, end quote. And meanwhile, in Berkshire County, the seven-day rolling average of new COVID-19 cases jumped to 88 cases on Monday. That was the highest rate since the coronavirus pandemic began, before falling slightly to 86 on Tuesday. A reminder, pediatric clinics for ages 5 through 11 in Region 1 will be administered at these clinics. No adult 12-plus doses will be available. Those clinics are scheduled in Sharon on December 21st from 4 to 7. In Canaan, D.H. Kellogg, December 21st from 4 till 7. In Salisbury, December 28th from 9 till 1. And in Cornwall, January 5th from 3 till 6 p.m. The First Lady is visiting Connecticut today. The First Lady will travel with Navy Secretary Carlos del Toro to visit the U.S. Navy families of the USS Delaware. Biden serves as sponsor of the submarine. She's slated to arrive in Groton at 4.30 and also then attend a holiday pairing and gathering with the families at 5.15. Coming up on Friday, the Mosaic Auxiliary will be sponsoring and taking applications for adoptive families for local families from 1 to 3 at the Mosaic Firehouse. In Dutchess County at the end of last week, they had more than 1,000 active cases of COVID-19 among residents for the first time since mid-April. Just days into December, this year's holiday surge is already packing a stronger punch than the summer spike that resulted in more than 40 deaths in two months. Coming up in Falls Village tonight, the PNZ has a special meeting at 630 In Salisbury on Friday, December 10th at 8.30, a special meeting of the PZC and the Inland Wetlands Commission. It's Winterfest at the Maplebrook School main campus December 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. and December 11th from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. Bring a new hat, scarf, or mittens for admission. Proceeds benefit Adopt-A-Family. Walk through the campus winter wonderland, holiday gifts for purchase, food, drink, caroling, and you can even meet Santa. 
Now, coming up at the Sharon Playhouse on Saturday, December 11th at 2 and 7 p.m. and Sunday, December 12th at 3 p.m., it's A Wonderful Life, a live radio play. Both performances will be in the Bach Gallery. Proof of vaccination for all shows is required. 860-364-7469, SharonPlayhouse.org. And COVID-19 vaccines are coming to your neighborhood. The town of North Canaan, 100 P Street, Sunday, December 12th from 10 till 4. Northwest corner residents only. Walk in, no appointment needed. No ID or insurance required. 5 to 11 years only. Must be accompanied by a parent or legal guardian. Pfizer vaccine. For more information, call 211 or visit on the web ct.gov slash COVID vaccine. Opening night festivities on December 11th from 4 to 6 p.m. in Cornwall, West Cornwall, Connecticut. You can explore an all-new walkable outdoor art gallery inspired by the 12 Days of Christmas. It's open for the second year with all new works of art by new and returning artists. The sidewalks of West Cornwall will transform into a walking art gallery as artists create unique interpretations of the timeless 12 Days of Christmas holiday theme. Windows nestled throughout the picturesque West Cornwall Village area, all with an easy walking distance of one another. No more than a half hour is needed to see all the windows and shop in local shops. Younger guests can collect stickers at each artist's window and even get a prize if they collect all 12. The exhibition is open for exploration from Saturday, December 11th until Sunday, January 2nd. You can view it at any time. The Village of Millerton has their next regular meeting on Monday, December 13th at 6 p.m. That is a change date from the December 20th date due to the holiday. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com. They've got a great new tapas menu added and also... You can find them on Facebook and Instagram. And by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average starts off today at 35,754.75. The NASDAQ at 15,789.99. And the S&P 500 at 4,701.21. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few minutes.